Hey guys, today is Sunday, July the 16th of 2023. I want to go over natural gas. Uh, this video is going to be very mixed. Remember I said that, very mixed. There's some bullish things I'm seeing and there's some bearish things I'm seeing. So I'm kind of like in the middle for this week. Uh, but I'm going to show you both views. So I know bears are going to enjoy it and bulls are going to enjoy it also. I'm at heart a bull, but... There's some things that concern me, but you know, the data is the data and that's what the data is showing. So without any further delay, <clears throat> let's get into it. All right. So this is the uh, daily cycle. I'm focusing on a daily because we already know that the uh, weekly cycle bottomed out somewhere around uh, June, June the 12th. And we know that's up. So that's obvious. You guys already know that you've been watching my videos, but the daily cycle is a little more interesting. There's a uh, cycle, which is uh, 248, which is this one right here. And this one hits a peak somewhere around July the 29th. And then this cycle goes down. There is also another cycle, which I call a dynamic cycle, is the uh, 77. It's a little more fractal in nature. You see how it goes up and down, up and down. And now this cycle goes up. And this cycle hit a peak around July the uh, 11th. Now this cycle goes down all the way to uh, August uh, 18. So when you do the uh, dynamic cycle and the uh, 248, you create a composite and this is what it's creating. So this doesn't look good if it's going to be bearish. In regards to uh, seasonality, we know that July is a weak month. And from here on out into August, September, October, is very bullish using a 20 year average. So this is bullish in regards to seasonality. This is another seasonality chart I like to see. You can see that we're right here and uh, from right here on out, it looks like it wants to grind higher all the way to July the 24th. In regards to commitments of traders report, you can see that commercial are hedging, they are selling. So that is good if you are a bull and if you look at large speculators they are accumulating so they're buying in regards to elliott wave uh i'm leaning more that this is a wave five somewhere around uh the april 14th and now we have an a b c as of now and it's uh looks like it's correcting so that doesn't look too good okay so this is my simple glance chart and there's some things i'm noticing here we've been kind of having a tough time around this point of control on the monthly chart 279 ish around there on uh, the weekly i don't like that macd crossover already just kicked in for uh last week volume was really negative last week and very strong compared to uh, two weeks ago uh, so that's not good uh however we're above the uh, 20 sma on the weekly so that's good 239 we're holding that. On the daily, you can see that we had a PPS sell signal on the uh, uh, July the 7th, and then it popped up, but it didn't really continue the dead cat bounce. And it now it's it pushed even lower. But the ultimate buy, if it was to push lower, would be in this area, because you got the uh, point of control, you got the Kumo Cloud support right here, and you got the linear regression channel right here. So this is the... Uh, ultimate entry level if it was to continue pushing lower uh, what's negative macd uh crossover it went positive but didn't really close above the zero line so it's still pushing lower so that's a negative volume has been light uh you can see that friday was mixed but overall weekly uh, the bears kind of take more control of it and you can see the macd is reflecting that however the uh, market sentiment is positive it's at 53 so it's changing but price action is not reflecting that. So we have to just be careful on the uh, daily. Let's look at our, our calendar real quick, because I always forget this sometimes. For this week, I want to let you know, because I haven't had a video to, haven't had a chance to put a video to uh, show about the uh, 101, about the calendar statistics. Ignore the times. As the time has nothing to do with what I'm doing here. So ignore the times. It's more about the days and the, the weekdays. Monday up, Tuesday up, uh, Wednesday down, it's not that much of a down, Thursday, big up day, Friday down. In regards to weekday, weekday is every Monday, every Tuesday, every Wednesday, every Thursday, every Friday of the whole month of July. Typically, Mondays are up, 
Tuesdays are typically a big down day. So I have it went Wednesday, a weekday down big, indicating that out of all these days, Tuesday is the day where normally selling pressure is the strongest. Weekday, uh, Wednesday is up. Thursday, out of all these days right here, Thursday is normally the biggest up day. So, so you can see the difference between trading days and weekdays. And then Friday, normally on the month of July, is typically down to flat. So it kind of goes down, but then it's just not really that much movement. So that's what flat means. Big means, like Peter Gabriel, big time. Big move, big time. So you're getting, you're getting the logistics. I want you to just get my mindset. So when I see this, it just kind of tells you, okay, you know, Tuesdays, the probabilities are high that this could probably happen Tuesday. In regards to the uh, average return by week is up for this week. Uh, you can see the percentages. Average return by month is so far up for the month of July. And the day you make the most money, obviously, will be the 20th. Be this day. Because the uh, trading day indicates it. And the probabilities are high. Uh, and then weekday, you see that is is high. So you got a double whammy. So, you know, some people say, well, you know, the algo sniffed this out. Uh, and that's what maybe that's why all the eagles are, you know, because they, they're statistic based models. So they're going to they're going to ride this wave up. So they are anticipating this. So, you know, they could probably push it down these two days or maybe from here start accumulating and then Tuesday, Thursday, ride it up. But you have to trade your rule, your system, because, you know, everybody has a way of trading. But if you see price action, you see volume and you see things moving up probably from Wednesday on to Thursday, then, you know, and statistics are showing this, so you already got a heads up, then you know what you need to do. In regards to losing money or going short would be the 19th, which would be this day, and the uh, 21st, these two days. And you can see I have two dollar signs. That means it's, you lose money or you could go short, but it's not as much compared to, to this day, this day, you'll make the most money uh, going along. And it's all probability. I'm not telling you I'm guaranteeing this. This is just what the data is showing. So that's that for the calendar. Let's go to, I wanted to do this real quick. So we're in the support area. You can see it by here, by the uh, volume uh, profile market. Uh, I want to show you a few things I'm noticing. So there's some support, you're, you're above the VWAP from anchored points, so that's that's good. ARCs, you can see that we're at the 75% right here, so that could be maybe a turning point right here. And also keep an eye on the 19th. So remember that the 20th was like a big explosion to the upside? This uh, anchor point ends right here. So 19th, 20, uh, from this circle, from to this point, to this high. So you're measuring things in time. So this could be an opportunity where this is maybe confirming it. So can we push all the way lower to the 20th and then explode? Yeah, this, this is confirming the statistics in regards to the uh, geometry. And we have the 75 right here, so it could probably bounce also too. And then maybe push lower here and then maybe bounce. And you want to keep an eye also on the uh, August 1st. Uh, trend lines, you can see that there's support right here when you anchor from these two points. So let's see if this is going to hold. And if that doesn't hold and it wants to push lower and be stubborn, you got this trend line right here. So you keep an eye and you got the VWAP and all that. So that's somewhere that's somewhere around anywhere between 235 all the way to two, you know, 30, 232. This little area would be a nice, nice little buying area, which lines up with the linear regression channels that I show you earlier from my simple glance chart. That's would be a nice little area and you put, you know, low risk entry, put your stop below just in case you're wrong. And then let's see if it rips up higher. This is support right here. This is the last line. It's 250. This is the monthly. As you can see, the weekly is negative. The daily is negative because now we're stepping lower. Midpoints are going lower, which is confirming that price action is just grinding lower. So for the whole week that's coming up, Support, if it's just going to push lower, is 242 uh, all the way to 236. That's that's extreme. If we go all the way down there, 236, 232, this could be the area where I will want, I'm going to accumulate and then see price action. And, you know, hopefully it goes up from here. But this is extreme 
uh, down here. Resistance will be 262. This will be the target of this next this week coming up if we go up. And if we could close above that, then that's good because then you got 266 uh, and then 275. So those are your two targets, 262, 275 to the upside. Uh, in regards to the daily, right now, 254 is resistance. This is the midpoint and also 259. Uh, that's the midpoint of Friday. So right there. I'm not going to worry about the daily here and these these things, but these are the this is the key level you want to go above 254 and 260. Those are the targets. Big level to hold is 250. If we can't hold that, uh, it's going to push lower and maybe test the uh, 235, which is the next uh, last month's uh, midpoint. And uh, this is uh, exp expiration. Uh, uh, expiration date is coming, I think that's the 21st. So we know statistically the 20th, there's a big move up. So maybe it could be a flush down and then go up, you know, expiration day. So just keep an eye on that also. Uh, let's look at the square and eye. I'm going to end this video. So our low, was it uh, 249, which is right here. So if we're going to push lower, yeah, it could... Uh, it could go down to maybe 243, lines up with the 287 high that we did somewhere around here uh, in July. You got to keep an eye on 242, keep an eye on 238, two was lines up with the 199 and uh, the 240. So this area right here, if this doesn't hold and this area doesn't hold 243 all the way to 238, then this is the entry level, the zero point area right here. Or not saying it's, it's the entry point, but this is the area which lines up for everything for a good support area to, uh, if it holds, to build a position right here. That's what I'm going to be watching if it's going to like really push lower. Is, uh, then it could eventually pop higher. I think that's it. Hopefully you liked this video. I'll keep you posted on my thoughts on natural gas.